Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the St. Louis Baseball Writers' Dinner. People ask me who should win this award. We were debating it. I was like, there are few people cooler than Kyle McClellan. You know, we, we touch about 40,000 people a day, and, and that includes sending kids to school that never had the opportunity to go to school. And you talk about generational change and how that's going to change their kids and their grandkids uh, forever. Certainly our two players of the year, our pitcher of the year and our player of the year, highlighted just tremendous seasons individually. You guys are the best fans in baseball, and, you know, you really got to really be here to and play for the Cardinals to experience that. And I did firsthand, I'm nothing but grateful for that. So thank you guys. Uh, you know, O'Neal's uh, probably the reason that 13 wins is even possible. We, eight of them were, what, multiple home run games. Uh, so making me look good. His life was taken by leukemia far earlier than it should have been. But his fight against that disease inspired us to keep fighting in his memory. My father can never be replaced. The family that's been formed sitting behind me has experienced their own loss with this passing along with our family. So we do what anyone would do to keep a loved one's memory alive. We honor it in the best way possible. We have three hockey champions with us tonight. All of them are gold medal winners. I think it's a little bit different uh, when you skate over the Olympic rings uh, on the ice. It, it's a very humbling feeling and uh, uh, while you're out there competing, you're just trying to enjoy every second. My brothers would take me into the backyard um, no more padding than just some newspapers, probably Post-Dispatch, um, tied to me, and they would just shoot hockey pucks at me as hard as they could. Hey, there's a bunch of guys just like you. We're going to make no leg jokes. We're going to flip our legs up and use them as coasters. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. Which was done for me tonight, by the way. And uh, if Steve will hold this, yeah, here actually, we go. Uh, demonstrate, just because, you know, it's not every day you get somebody to just pop a leg up, and uh, that's how, you know. The Branch Ricky winners tonight are Vera Clemente and the Clemente family. Rachel and Sharon Robinson and the Robinson family. But why isn't she playing second time? He's like, oh no, she has never even touched a bat in her life. I said, okay. I looked at her. I blocked them off. I said, would you like to play? She just did this. Kind of ironic that uh, the baseball writers who put on this dinner were not the ones who actually got Lee Smith into the Hall of Fame. There's a good checks and a, a check and balance that the Hall of Fame put in where there's a veterans committee. The one person I think of all in this city I, gotta, I wanna thank was uh, Rick Hummel for uh, making that phone call to ask me and uh, my good bud out here, Mr. Ozzie Smith for uh, all the plays he made behind me to help me be his teammate again. <laughs> thank you, Wizard. The Daryl Kyle Award, honoring the late Cardinals pitcher lost in 2002, has since then been given to some of the best men to ever wear the birds on the bat. I was so uh, flattered to win this award. I think if any player ever wins an award, they want to win one uh, that's voted on by their teammates, uh, the guys that they're with every day. Something to say, hey, you're not such a bad guy to hang around with for 162 games. A 619 winning percentage, consecutive Pacific Coast League titles, a AAA championship in 2018. He's also been named Baseball America Minor League Manager of the Year. As you look towards uh, 2019, what are some of your hopes and, and aspirations for this team? Uh, I hope they give me a step ladder for first base, standing next to some of these guys. That would be number one. For his remarkable season, he shared the National League's Most Valuable Player Award with Willie Stargell. It was the first and only time in Major League history two players received the same number of points from the Baseball Writers Association. People were kind of wondering where if I was going to make it, and myself too, frankly. Uh, Boyer came back and told me on an airplane flight to Houston late April that I was his first baseman, I was going to play every day, and um, it just took the load off my mind, and I was went four for four the next day in Houston, and I was on my way. There are a lot of people here tonight who probably are not that familiar with our next award recipient, but the Cardinals front office and the players so I was, I was blessed, I was very fortunate, I had many, many, I mean George was just one of many who kind of helped me along the way. I had great managers that I played for and great uh, legendary instructors that you know I, I followed their lead with, uh, Hub Kittles and the Dave Ricketts of the world and Bo Millikens. These were all people that were in, again very influential in my life. I'd also like to thank uh, Bill DeWitt, Mike Gersh and the entire front office because when you think about our off season, we had a few goals. And when you look at those goals, we knew we had to go out and find a middle of the order hitter. Welcome Paul Goldschmidt. 
for us, we all know what um, each one is capable of, you know, coming up through the system and, and being with them, you know, aside from Jordan, who just got to skip everything, um, you know, but we all know what everybody else is capable of. Um, you, you just, you, he's always there to ask questions and anytime I felt kind of rushed at times, um, he was always kind of that voice and that person who was allowing me to calm my nerves behind the scenes and just having that, uh, that presence day in and day out just uh, made my job a whole lot easier, so thank you, Willie. Yo siempre espero de mí lo mejor porque yo trabajo al 100% y todos los días trabajo y trabajo. I always uh, trust myself uh, I always try to put the ball and play when we have guys in scoring position. So that's one of the main things. I always trust myself and put a lot of work in. Oh, well, I'm type 1 diabetic if anyone in here didn't know. Um, I take shots every time I eat and one time every 24 hours. So it's just uh, I got to prick like three times a day just to see where my blood sugar is at and so I can control it. And, if I can control better, then I'll be able to perform better, so. And what do you do between games in your off time? Are you getting out there more? Not a lot, you know. <laughs> I'm a little socially challenged, Tom. Um. One of our major objectives from the very beginning was to really create a platform to show the world what this town has to offer. It's surreal to be sitting up here at this point. Um, St. Louis is obviously a great baseball town, but it's an amazing sports town. And uh, people walked away with a much different view of St. Louis than they started with, and we couldn't be proud of that. That's what we will remember from this event. It's, it's legacy and, and these great folks' contribution to, to making St. Louis a better place that all can see. As a PGA member for over 30 years, it's uh, the ultimate honor to be one of the many hosts uh, to host the championship at your home club coming in under that heat for 10 straight days and having the same smiles as they were leaving uh, was truly, truly memorable and extraordinary. To, to see him when he walked over the bridge, that sea of people, that's, uh, that's something that will be um, in my memory for a long time. It was really, really nice to see. The character level is through the roof too. We got young guys that want to be great, they want to win, they want to represent this city and this organization as, as well as they can. And, um, it's really a thrill uh, to go to the ballpark every day and see him. Um, you know, we're always around each other, so we're always bouncing ideas off each other. I mean, you know, hey Jack, how do you hold your slider? You know, bueno, how do you hold that curveball? And you know, being being constantly surrounded by each other and, and being able to communicate so openly and freely is just, you know, makes makes everyone on the staff so much better. Last year, the National Baseball Hall of Fame honored Bob in ceremonies at Cooperstown, and tonight. We honor him with the Red Medal for Invaluable Service to Baseball. You know, I've gotten to the point where I'm beginning to feel over-honored, but when it's St. Louis, the appreciation is so mutual that, well, when it comes to this town, it never gets old. Thank you all very much.